Gritzy YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent. In my last video I started to use MQTT and a Raspberry Pi as a broker. This week I got my new Pi Zero with Wi-Fi. With this board there is no excuse to not use MQTT for my projects anymore. So today I built a cheapo MQTT broker for under $20. Look at the length of this video and you see how easy it is to build one. And you will be astonished what this little bugger is able to do in addition to transfer MQTT messages. So let's start. The secret behind the whole thing is Peter Scargill. He is a wizard in small devices and I recommend to check out his blog. Pete produced a Christmas gift for the community, a script which automatically installs a lot of things on Linux systems, including the Raspberry Pi. You choose which packets you want and wait for a few hours. After that you get your system more or less completely configured. Really great stuff. I wanted to use this script on my new Pi Zero when I read that Peter was not happy with uh, Raspbian Jesse on his Pi Zero. It was way too slow for him. Fortunately he found a better solution, Diet Pi, which can also be used for our project. So I started with installing Diet Pi on an SD card, enabled it for my Wi-Fi and copied Peter's script to my device. After that I created two new users, Pi and Admin, and started the script. Then I had to wait for a few hours. Eventually the script finished and I had to reboot my zero. You find the link in the description if you want to use Peter's script for your purposes. To check my newly created system I started the Mosquito Broker. It worked. Next. I started Node-RED using the admin user. It worked too. Maybe not as fast as it runs on my Pi 3, but usable without any problems. When I looked at the available nodes, I discovered that Peter did really completed staff work. He already added many nodes like his famous Big Timer, Johnny 5, Push Bullet, some Google stuff, Raspberry stuff and so on and so on. This alone is worth many hours of work. And he added also the Node Red dashboard. So you get a more or less complete Node Red installation. In addition, he added the SQ Light database system and PHP admin light for its administration. Absolutely great. There is only one thing I can add here. I made a copy of my SD card and make it available to you for download. This saves you all the hassles of downloading and installing DietPy and wait for the completion of Peter's script. If you want, you can download and copy this file to an SD card using Win32 Disk Imager. Insert the card into your Raspberry Pi Zero, connect your Zero to a display and a keyboard, and enter your Wi-Fi credentials into the file ETC Network Interfaces. That's all. And the whole thing did take for sure less than half an hour. If you kept the assigned fixed IP address, you can putty into a fully configured MQTT broker by connecting to 192.168.0.202. Just for your information, you find these three users on your system. Of course you can change these passwords or add new users if you wish. Because we saved so many hours, we still have some time left. So I will build a small data logger for my Sonoff switch using MQTT, Node-RED and the SQLite database. From now on I assume that you used my SD card image for your Pi Zero. This image contains all material needed. So first we test the Mosquito Broker. We could do this by using the built-in functions like Mosquito Sub and Mosquito Pop in terminal windows. 
but because we already have node red available we use this tool to do that so we can also check the connection between the two packages you can connect from your PC to node red on the Raspberry Pi just call the address of your device and you get a selection of all available functions we use the MQTT test flow in node red to do the connection test first we have to adjust the IP address of the MQTT broker to the address of your Pi Zero if you changed it this has to be done in these two nodes in node red you have to deploy after every change to activate the changes now node red should connect to mosquito and you should see the green points here if we now press this button a text is published to mosquito and because we subscribed to all the topics the message comes back from mosquito to node red and into our debug window so our hello world scenario is live and node red and mosquito are working together cool next we go to the MQTT data logger flow this scenario needs three main nodes to perform the task I added two debug nodes to show you what happens let's start with the MQTT node this node is subscribed to the relay topic of our Sonoff device from last video the next node inserts the topic the payload and the timestamp to SQLite the last node creates a connection to the database so let's first look at the setup of the database to do that we have to connect to PHP admin Lite. here we can manage our database if you used my image file you will already find a database called IOT with a few tables we will only use table Sonoff for this logger this table has three fields the topic a timestamp and the relay state if we browse this database we see that it is empty now we go back to node red and to the function which creates the SQL statement which inserts a record into the database I have to confess I have no idea of JavaScript and I just used an example and adapted it till it did what I wanted so for sure there are better ways of doing it but still it might be useful for you the first part of this script creates this line in node red it shows us when the last update took place the next part creates a string called SQL which will be filled with an SQL statement at the end this string is pushed to the database if we look at the creation of this string we see insert into Sonoff which is the table we want to fill then we find all three fields we want to populate next we find their values also separated by commas the string values have to be framed by quotes if we have a closer look we see that we created a ordinary SQL statement if we go back to our SQL administration we can execute this statement and we see the result in the database the last node does exactly that it transfers the SQL statement to the database that's all if we now switch the son off off and on again we see two additional SQL statements in node red and the two entries in the database so our MQTT logger works summarized we can use our Pi Zero W as an MQTT broker if we use Diet Pi and Peter Scargill script we easily can create such a device if you use my prefabricated SD card image you are even faster and you get your broker in less than half an hour up and running this broker does not only work as an MQTT broker it includes also many other pre-installed packets because viewers ask me how to log MQTT data I used this newly created device to build a simple MQTT message logger with SQLite all in all it is astonishing what we can get for less than $20 and half an hour of work it does what we want and we even can extend its usage 
I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, then like. Bye.